Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. We're a little bit late to the punch with our RTX 2070 coverage. I know, but we've literally been so busy with so many other projects and other products that we forgot to cover some 2070 cards. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week, so do yourself a big old favor and make sure you're subscribed. MSI sent over their brand new RTX 2070 gaming Z GPU, so we did what we always do, and we put it through its paces and let it stretch its legs. Let's talk about how we're testing these GPUs. We're using our GPU test system, which is running the ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming 9 with the i7-8700K and 16 gigs of G-Skill Triton Z clocked at 3200 megahertz. This is a very similar test system to the one we usually use. The only difference is we changed the motherboard, so we decided to retest some other GPUs to go with these tests as well. The results from those tests are also included in this this video to give the 2070 test some context. We ran three different benchmarks, all that used the GPU in different ways to see what the performance looks like in different situations. We've decided to switch from Rise of the Tomb Raider to Shadow of the Tomb Raider in all of the benchmarks moving forward. With that said, let's start off with the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark. This benchmark is built into the game and gives a good indication of how the game will perform on your system. The benchmark gives us quite a few metrics, but we're only going to be talking about the average frame rate with the GPUs, all resolutions. So let's see how we go. For the 1080p test in DX11, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 83 frames per second. That's around 15% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. For the 1440p test in DX11, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 82 frames per second. That's around 49% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. For the 4K test and DX11, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 48 frames per second. That's around 55% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. For the 1080p test in DX12, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 111 frames per second. That's around 34% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. For the 1440p test in DX12, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 82 frames per second. That's around 46% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. For the 4K test in DX12, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 47 frames per second. That's around about 57% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. Let's move on to Unigen Superposition. For the Superposition test, we performed three tests in total. We used the 4K optimized preset, the 1080p extreme preset, and a custom 1440p preset with depth of field and motion blur turned off. For the 1440p custom test, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 117 frames per second. That's around 34% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. For the 4K optimized test, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 56 frames per second. That's around 36% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. Lastly, the 1080p extreme test. This, this test basically makes a joke of every GPU on the market. For the 1080p extreme test, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z get an average score of 42 frames per second. That's around 62% faster than the Gigabyte GTX 1070. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> The last batch of tests is with the Final Fantasy XV benchmarking tool. This is an updated version of the tool that includes DLSS and a few more optimizations to make this a far more accurate benchmarking tool. For the 1080p test, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z render a total amount of 9,307 frames. That's around 40% more frames than the GTX 1070. 
For the 1440p test, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z render a total amount of 7,061 frames. That's around 43% more frames than the GTX 1070. For the 4K test, we saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z render a total amount of 4,086 frames. That's around 45% more frames than the GTX 1070. Based on those results, the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z is looking like a pretty decent card with a pretty decent uplift from the previous generation of the GTX 1070. However, I'm gonna shift gears for a second and take a little bit of a stroll down memory lane. When the GTX 970 launched, it was 329 US dollars. When the GTX 1070 launched, it was 449 US dollars. And when the RTX 2070 launched, it was 600 US dollars. <sighs> Not sponsored. Look. I could go into way more detail about percentages regarding price to performance and all of that other stuff, but let me summarize this for you. Yes, the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z is a great card with near silent operation with its twin frozer thermal design and its torque fans. And yes, the eight plus two phase power delivery is awesome and more than adequate. And yes, it's got RGB through MSI's Mystic Light 3. And yes, it will play games at 1440p and 1080p in high settings, but 649 US dollars for a mid-range GPU just seems like too much money to me. And I'm not blaming MSI for the price because basically all the 2070s are the same across the board. And that includes all of the other board partners as well. I think that based on history with price to performance uplift between generations, the RTX cards just aren't that compelling until you take DLSS into account. And this is where the RTX 2070 really shines. Let's visit those Final Fantasy 15 results again in 4K, but this time with DLSS enabled. We saw the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z render a total amount of 5,716 frames with DLSS turned on. That's around 40% more frames than without it turned on. What a massive difference. That's actually kind of impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Let's rewind a bit. Now that we actually have a few games and a few tests where we can enable DLSS and use this new Nvidia technology with these RTX cards, I think that titles that you play with 4K in DLSS enabled, the MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z gets a little bit more attractive and a little bit more compelling. But again, for now, there's only a handful of games that actually support this. So whether or not you should buy this card or any RTX cards right now, it's still up for debate. The MSI RTX 2070 Gaming Z is currently going for around 649 US dollars on Amazon right now. There is a link down in the description if you want to get your hands on one of these cards. Also, let me know what you think of the 2070. I think it's pretty good, but it's a bit expensive. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna level with you. It, it is quite expensive. Also, I've added a thing on the end card, well, after the end cards now, where I put nice comments in. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you're not know to do one. Tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick, with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And yeah, like I just mentioned, nice comments are going at the end of the video now. I wanna show everyone how nice some of you people are. There's other people that aren't quite as nice, but yeah, that's all from me. I'm gonna go now.